You're most likely watching this video on YouTube, and if you're not, how the fuck are you watching my videos? But on a serious note, YouTube is a large website, and I'm not surprised that it has some cursed or like discrepancies on this website because you know they can't pick up everything okay everything that is wrong on the website but oh brother is a lot of wrong things on this website you would probably expect kids youtube to be wholesome and just full of just the most wholesome kid content but oh god you're fucking wrong kids youtube is disgusting in order for me not to be put on the local offender radar, I am going to have to go into incognito mode and go to youtube.com to show you the harsh reality of YouTube kids. I am also risking the chance for my channel to get striked down because of the certain stuff on this video. So if you like, you know, leaving a like on my video, I would really appreciate it. I'm pretty sure we all know what Minecraft is, okay? And if you don't, you stop living under a rock. And, you know, if you normally just look up Minecraft, you know, you want to see like some too odd until you get to like this. Touch my body challenge, Minecraft animation. Hmm, I wonder what this is. We're doing the touch my body challenge. The touch my body challenge. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. Well, they're already off to some pedo type stuff. Now, I want to remind you that this is all directed towards little children that like to play Minecraft, okay? And they're doing something called a touch my body challenge. <laughs> Basically, one of us blindfolds the other, and then they have to guess what part of the body is being touched. Imagine having to animate this. Imagine having to voice act this. Imagine having the chance to not even click the upload button and you still go ahead to upload this filth on the internet. Oh, oh, I know. ARMY. Huh? You know the game ARMY. It's when you lay down and I blow the hell out of you. This video, by the way, this Minecraft video, I got to add on this Minecraft video. So that means it's monetized. I didn't get not one age restriction. Yet, I could say the F word and my video wouldn't get monetized. How is that fair? Ooh, oh, oh this is nice. Uh, it's your chest. <laughs> All right, that was too easy. Hmm, well, it's cold, so is it your hand? Nope. Hmm, can you give me a hint? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting mad Dan Schneider energy, and I, personally, if I made you guys uncomfortable with the video, just know I'm uncomfortable too. Moving on. I don't know what's up with grown adults just trying to throw themselves to make easy cash making these weird kid videos. Even though it's working... But, bro, it's so freaky. Come in. Hello. Come in, lady. Hi. Okay, lady. What is your problem? I think I'm a pregnant. So, we have a man with a, a Italian accent, I think, that is using a cheap green screen to talk to fake Minecraft people. That definitely couldn't be weird. Pregnant? Yes. Hmm, okay. We must make a test. Okay. Can you please let water in this okay, bucket? Okay, no problem. And then we can find out if you're pregnant. Here is the toilet. Oh, hey, you are finished? Yes. Okay, nice. Give me the bucket and I make a test. Whoa. Oh, good. Okay. I could have swear I heard this man say I filled the bucket up Can with water. Can you please let water in this bucket? Why is it yellow? Hmm, I must feel. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh. good. Yeah, it feels good. This is so stupid. Did he just really have this lady pee in a cup and he's just filling it around? How do you possibly tell if somebody's pregnant by doing that? Okay, now I make the test. Here are some drops. It's another fatherless child. Bro, okay, I know this is like a fake kids video, but do they even know how pregnancy tests work? Like, why couldn't you just give the lady the test and she could have just peed on the stick in the bathroom? Why do we have to visually watch you mess around with a bowl of fake pee and put it on a weird tablet, bro? That's so disgusting. Some of these YouTubers need to get background checks, bro, because I think they have some sketchy passes, man. 
I would say the FNAF kid side of YouTube is way worse than the Minecraft side of YouTube because mostly the FNAF side of YouTube is just basically softcore furry porn, if I'm being real with you. Exhibit A. I'm about to bust. Since there are no nipples, YouTube can detect any nudity, so it gives a free pass to basically to all these disgusting individuals just to post this type of stuff on YouTube. And this man has a half a million subscribers, so it shows that a lot of people like this type of stuff. But on the other hand, why? Like, there's other websites where you can watch this type of stuff. I'm not going to bash you on whatever you like to watch in your free time, but YouTube is really not the place, man. They know for a fact they can make a profit off a of horny two-year-old boys because that's ultimately their motive. Fuck. What's the sad thing about this is that they're wasting their animation talent on sub tier stuff like this when they could be actually making some good honest content. Guys, we have the live action roleplay weirdos that dress up as kids characters so they can attract weird kids with weird thumbnails and titles. Elsa got me pregnant and it's always Spider-Man and Elsa for some reason. <laughs> Like, I don't even know how a little kid could even watch this. I'm pretty sure it's best, like it's the colors that attract them and the fact that they're dressed up as, you know, cartoon characters or whatever. But, like, Jesus, this acting is giving me PTSD from all of those cringy Indian TikToks. Like, off a of first look, there's nothing wrong with these videos. But when it comes to these thumbnails and titles, and, like, a lot of it had to do about weird pregnancies and stuff with cartoon characters, it comes off the predatory to me, and I do not know why. So we have these weird, disturbing, so-called educational CGI videos that give me nightmares. Like, real talk, they give me straight nightmares, bro. Johnny? Yes, Papa. Eating sugar? No, Papa. I actually refuse to watch this. This is burning my eyes right now. We're moving on. Now we're going to step away from the cringy videos and get into like the real kind of scary topics. These guys that are doing fake giveaways. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Fake giveaways. Okay, everybody fall for that. But like the links that they be linking in the descriptions be very, very sketchy. And another way these guys be getting easy views is making fake streams. Like they will literally pre-record a stream and use a fake chat and just loop the same thing over and over and it gets like millions of views and tons of subscribers and they do it for roblox fortnite it's all the same right now we're just going to be clicking one of these links and just see where it takes us as you can see it gets gets free v bucks now i used to play fortnite and i know that for a fact that is from season 10 i think so it has nothing to do with the current season now if you click one of these links when they take you further, some of them might be IP grabbers or try to download malware into your system when they try to tell you to translate or co convert into like to get into V Bucks. So definitely do not click any of these links because they're most likely scams. I'm just gonna end the video off right here because it's like more stuff I could talk about, but this video will be like over 30 minutes plus. Let me know if you want a part two, uh, like me just going in deeper with this type of stuff. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, join my Discord if you want, first link below, and have a good day, peace.